Hello and welcome to the session. The given question says, if a line touches a circle and from the point of contact a chord is drawn, prove that the angles which the chord make with the given line are equal respectively to the angles formed in the corresponding alternate segments. By using the above, do the following. In figure 4, which is this figure, SPT is a tangent to the circle at P and PQ is a chord of the circle if angle PRQ is 40 degrees and angle PQR is 80 degrees. Find X and Y. First, let us solve the theorem which is theorem 10.3 of your NCRT textbook. It says if a line touches a circle and from the point of contact here the point of contact is A and a tangent PQ touches the circle at A. If a chord is drawn suppose AB is a chord the angles which this chord make with a given line are equal respectively to the angles formed in the corresponding alternate segments. That is we have to show that angle BAQ is equal to angle BCA and angle BAP is equal to angle BDA. So first let us write down what we are given. Here we are given that PQ is a tangent to a circle with center O at a point A. And AB is a chord and C and D are points in two segments of the circle formed by the chord AB. This figure shows this and we have to prove first that angle BAQ is equal to angle ACB and then we have to prove that angle BAP is equal to angle ADP. We have done a simple construction also which is already shown in the figure. Here, draw the diameter AOE and join EP. Now, let us start with the proof. Now, in triangle, a, E, B, angle E, B, A or angle A, B, E is equal to 90 degree since angle in a semicircle is of 90 degree. Therefore, the sum of these two angles will be equal to 90 degree since the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree and if one angle is 90 degree then the sum of remaining two angles is equal to 90 degree. So we have angle AEB plus angle EAB is equal to 90 degrees. Let this be equation number one. Also we have EA perpendicular on PQ. So this implies angle EAQ is equal to 90 degrees or we have angle EAB plus angle BAQ is equal to 90 degrees. Let this be equation number 2. Now from 1 and 2 we find that right hand side of both the equations are equal therefore left hand sides are also equal and angle 
EAB is common on the left hand side. So from 1 and 2 we have angle AEB is equal to angle BAQ. And let this be equation number 3. Now, as we can see, angle BEA and angle BCA are equal since that angle in the same segment of a circle, that is angle AEB is equal to angle ACB since angles in the same segment of a circle are equal and here are the angles are in the same segment and let this be equation number 4. Now from 3 and 4 we have left hand sides of both the equations are equal. So this implies that right hand side is also equal. So angle BAQ is equal to angle ACP. So this proves the first part. And now we have to prove that angle BAP is equal to angle ADP. Now since PQ is a line, therefore angle BAP plus angle BAQ is equal to 180 degrees linear pair. Also, since opposite angles of a cyclic polylateral, are supplementary, therefore we have angle ACB plus angle ADB is equal to 180 degrees. Let this be equation number 5 and this be equation number 6. Now since the right hand sides are equal, therefore left hand sides are also equal. So we have angle BAP plus angle BAQ equal to angle ACB plus angle ADP. This is from equation number 5 and equation number 6. Now, since angle BAQ is equal to angle ACB, therefore this can further be written as angle BAP Plus angle BAQ is equal to ACB can be written as BAQ plus angle ADB and this further implies that angle BAP is equal to angle ADP. So this proves the second part also. Now, let us solve the given problem, which is the second part of the question. Now, here we are given that angle PRQ is equal to 40 degrees and angle PQR is equal to 80 degrees. Now, by the above theorem, if PQ is a chord, then angle QPT is equal to angle QRP. That is, from the above theorem, if PQ is a tangent and, sorry, if PQ is a chord and ST is a tangent, at the point P, then angle QPT is equal to angle QRP. Right? And angle QRP is given to us as 40 degrees. So this implies angle QPT is equal to 40 degrees or angle X is equal to 40 degrees. And also, again, from the above theorem we have, for the chord, RP, angle, 
आर क्यू पी इज इक्वल टू एंगल आर टी एस एंड हेयर अगेन वी आर गिवन दैट आर क्यू पी इज इक्वल टू एटी डिग्रीज सो दिस एम्प्लाइज एंगल आर पी एस इज इक्वल टू एटी डिग्रीज हेयर सेंस एंगल आर क्यू पी इज इक्वल टू एटी डिग्रीज दस अगेन वी गेट फ्रॉम द बस ट्यूर एंड विच एम्प्लाइज दैट Y is equal to 80 degrees. Hence, our answer is x is equal to 40 degrees and y is equal to 80 degrees. So, this completes the session. Bye and take care.